hello friends welcome to our channel knowledge amplifier and in this particular video i am going to show you how you can uh, apply the k nearest neighbor algorithm for practical data set okay so in our previous video i have shown you k nearest neighbor algorithm application on small data set now let us take one practical and very popular data set which is iris data set okay fisher's iris data set so just what you have to write it is inbuilt in matlab it is directly available you need to write load fisher iris that's all okay as soon as you click enter see in the workspace two uh, components are basically created one is 150 cross 4 double and uh, species 150 cross 1 cell okay so one is of cell another one is of uh, array or matrix data type we can say now what we can do we can write like this x equal to uh, MEAS okay that is this particular array variable name whatever is there and let us run and the y let us store in uh, y variable let us store this species okay according to which we have to classify okay so species all right now if i write x and click enter see i will be getting different uh, data values okay and here basically some uh, these are nothing but uh, sepal with sepal length, petal with petal length. Okay. So the first column is basically sepal length, second one sepal width, third one petal length, and fourth one petal width. Now we want to do our classification suppose based on petal length and petal width. So what we can do, we can take the last two columns. Simple code we can apply x equal to x of all rows. So colon, comma, uh, Suppose uh, we are storing the third column in a uh, variable x and uh, which is basically petal length and petal y, uh, petal width we can store in other variable. Okay, so like that we have to do. So why uh, suppose uh, we are storing in x1 variable basically uh, this x1 I am just writing here uh, how we can write x1 equal to x of colon comma 3 and y1 equal to x of colon comma 4 as a result petal length and petal width we will be getting in separate variables and then we can do analysis okay so see how i have written the code very simple so here uh, clc clear all close all and then warning off okay if you want you can ignore this if you want you can write this now load fisher iris fisher's iris data we are loading then x equal to meas colon 3 we are taking petal length in x variable and we are taking petal width in y variable okay as you know in mias the all the these results are stored see in mias all the uh, data points are stored and classes are stored in species variable so c equal to species okay c is indicating basically uh, the classes different classes then uh, we will run our particular this k nearest neighbor algorithm for different data points so you every time we'll be storing our answer or classification result at output variable so output equal to one empty matrix then m equal to c as i have discussed earlier also because each time after application of bubble sort what will happen your class will be uh, arranged in sorted order according to the distance and as a result uh, to get back the original class for the next item we require to update c equal to m so here we are writing m equal to c then k equal to input enter the k value okay this k is what k n n that k value k nearest number how many nearest number 10 20 30 2 1 like that okay E R S A. This variable just I am taking that how many times I want to run my code and how many times obviously it will be equal to test data points right that that many number of data points we have to classify so input enter the number of test data points then for i equal to one colon E R S A okay what we are doing we are taking first parameter and second parameter then simply we are applying here K N E R S neighbor algorithm just the difference is at this particular part in bubble sort here see you can observe this species is a cell okay so instead of accessing using uh, parenthesis you should uh, access the cell using what uh, curly spaces right curly bracket okay that's what i have done because this is the rule that uh, cell is uh, uh, cell indexing is done using curly bracket and then classy equal to one curly uh, that is one cell empty cell we are defining and then we are storing all the first uh, k uh, 
K class in that class E cell and then tabulate uh, class E. This will give us some statistical idea that what are the different class, what is their percentage like that. If you want, you can ignore this line. Now, the class E is basically one cell. So, whatever uh, class, suppose uh, A or B, these classes will be in cell format. So, we have to convert those to string, right? Because our final output is written in string. So, I am performing string of class E and then we are storing the output. Uh, that is the uh, mode of class E, which is our uh, classification result in the output, okay? Because you know for classification, we take mode and for regression, we take mean, okay? And then C equal to M and N that, okay? That's all. Let us run the code. Evaluate selection. Okay. Now enter the k value. Suppose I want to do 10 uh, nearest neighbor uh, classification. So k equal to 10. Enter the number of data points. Suppose for three data points I want to run my code. Enter the first parameter. Suppose petal length is 5. Okay. Petal width is 1.45. Okay. Now see, as soon as it will, uh, as soon as you click enter or hit enter, it will be giving the output, okay? So basically out of 10 nearest neighbors, uh, Virginica, this particular species is appearing two times and uh, Versicolor is appearing eight times. So obviously Versicolor is this species because the uh, mode is Versicolor out of 10, right? For the next iteration, suppose... Uh, petal length is 6, petal width is 2. We will be getting all the uh, nearest, ne 10 nearest neighbor as Virginica. So, obviously, no doubt uh, the particular uh, uh, iris flower will be classified as Virginica. And the next one, suppose first parameter is 2 point, sorry, uh, it will be 2.75. Uh, what we can do? Uh, let us run the code once more because I have given wrong data point. Sorry for this game. Evaluate selection, enter the k value, k value is 10. Number of data points, I want to test three data points, okay. First parameter of the data point, that is petal length is 5 and petal width is 1.45, okay. Then we are getting the result as we have seen earlier also. Then for the next test case, petal length 6, petal width 2, okay. All the nearest neighbors are Virginica, so it will be classified, this particular iris flower will be classified as Virginica. And the next one is, suppose, uh, length is 2.75, okay, and width is 0 0.75, okay. If you hit enter, uh, seven neighbor will be versicolor and uh, three neighbor will be uh, setosa. So, basically, versicolor is more, so output will be getting as versicolor. Now, to take the overall result, you just need to write output and hit the enter. See, for these three iris color, we have chosen First, first one is Versicolor, second one is Virginica, third one is Versicolor, okay? So like this, you can implement the K nearest neighbor algorithm, whatever I have discussed, same one in the practical data analysis also, okay? Same code I will be posting in the description. If you want, you can check there or in the comment section I will post, okay? This is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.